Ms. Omar had the wonderful opportunity to work at Synopsys, uh, which is a high-tech company in Mountain View. They specialize in the creation and manufacture of chips um, that companies such as Intel and all the phone companies use in their products. And I am excited to bring back three things, three main topics to my classroom. The first has to do with language and communications as it relates to math, which I never saw the connection before. Uh, the second is how new apps and technology uh, from my colleagues uh, can be used in the classroom. And the third is the importance of team building activities and the strengthening that it has for uh, the organization. So the first, language and communication. When I first got to Synopsys the first week, there were so many emails and documents and videos and conferencing that I was just blown away at how much that's used and how fast uh, language and information is transported. And I started having a lot of ideas for myself. One of them came from an online article um, about history that I'd seen and the history of Synopsys throughout the year. So I thought about, okay, for my geometry students, I would take a life-size cell phone back from the 1970s or 80s and I would compare it to a cell phone today. Take the surface area and the volume of this cell phone compared to that cell phone. I know my kids will go crazy and be like, my head isn't even big enough to speak for that cell phone. How does that even work? Do they have a hard case for my actual cell phone? Yes, they do. They have iPhone cases that can fit in there. Um, but no, it'd be really cool just to like take this and say, okay, you're going to compare this surface area and this volume back you know, 20 years ago or whatever to this current one, and then you're going to create a ratio. And just how I, I know the kids would light up at the opportunity to do something like that. The second thing is the applications, the apps, and the technology that uh, was so used by Synopsys.